Hi, my name is Nidhi Sharma. I'm a women's health physical therapist here at Funk Physio Physical Therapy. And today I'm going to explore connection between hip pain and pelvic pain. I see women very often and men in my clinic who report that they have hip pain for a long time and have developed pelvic pain, vaginal pain, pain with intercourse, tailbone pain now or that they have pelvic pain for a long time and are starting to develop some hip pain. Patients often think that this is coincidence because they are separate joints, separate areas. They often go to an orthopedic physical therapist for their hip pain and a pelvic floor physical therapist for their pelvic pain. You actually need to see somebody who can treat you, treat both of these problems together because they are very, very related. Hip and pelvis are so close together, they are intricately related anatomically and biomechanically. So I'm going to explain a little anatomy to show you why. So this is the pelvis, this is the spine, pelvis on both sides, this is the bone in the back, and if you can see, this is the thigh bone, so this would be the hip joint. And you can see hip joint is a ball and socket joint. So the ball is formed by the bone of the thigh and socket is formed actually by the pelvis. So if you think about it, mechanically and anatomically, half of the hip joint is actually pelvis and the other half of the hip joint is formed by the thigh bone. All of the muscles of the hip will attach to pelvis on the back, on the back side or sometimes with the flexor and internal rotators on the inside. And now if we look at the pelvic floor in a different model, so we were showing you, <clears throat> so I just showed you all the places that the hip muscles can attach on the outside of this bone, on the inside of this bone, on the back side of this bone, and if you see on the inside of this bone, the same bone, on the inside of this bone is this huge muscle called pelvic floor. So if you think about it, the muscles of the hip and the muscles of the pelvic floor are attaching inches, centimeters away from each other on the same bone. They not only share a lot of same muscle uh, blood supply, nerve supply, they also share similar same ligaments. They share the same bone where all of the muscles attach to. Dysfunction or poor function due to impingement, due to labral tears, because of tightness, because of weakness of the hip joint will often affect the mechanics position of this bone. When this bone is affected, it will affect the pelvic floor on the inside. Same thing, after a long time of pelvic pain, the pelvic floor is affected and again affects the function and the mechanics of this bone which will affect the function of the hip on the outside. When we treat pelvic floor, we always, always look at the function of the hip joints on both sides. You need good support and good strength of these joints for the pelvic floor to function properly. And opposite way is also true. You need the pelvic floor functioning very efficiently and strongly for the hip to do its job properly. One of the many very common connections between the hip and the pelvic floor is obturator internus. Obturator, so this is the pelvic floor, this is the vaginal opening, the urethra, the anal opening. And if you look from inside, when we go, uh, when we do an internal exam and we go vaginally, we often reach this muscle on the side. And if you can see, this is actually inside the pelvis. If you go inside the pelvis, you can see this muscle here. This muscle which is inside the pelvis can only be accessed internally is actually a hip muscle. This is a muscle that turns the leg out at a certain angle. It's an external rotator of the hip which is very important for the function of the hip but it's very closely related to, a, to all the functions of the pelvic floor. It also has a very important nerve passing by it, pudendal nerve, which causes vaginal pain, clitoral pain, and perineal pain in men and women. So a hip muscle very closely related to nerve dysfunctions and pain of pelvis. A pelvic floor dysfunction very closely related to causing you hip pain, groin pain, buttock pain, sciatic pain. So if you have both of these symptoms, I recommend you see somebody who can see you from both angles, who is an orthopedic specialist and a women's health specialist and can put two pieces together to treat you holistically and within the realm of pelvis and hip. Thank you.